Hey, I'm Todd from Get Strong. This week's devotion is on Genesis 1 through 11. This is a very important part of God's Word, and it is foundational when you want to have a biblical worldview. And your worldview is important. I mean, a worldview is basically how you view the world, uh, but it's more than that. It's, it's how you view life. It's how you view God. It's how you view character and ethics and right and wrong and how you view your purpose. So as believers, we should be growing more and more like Christ every day to have a same worldview as He does. So as we read through the Bible, I want you to know that we believe that the Bible is the Word of God. And we believe that the Bible is where God reveals Himself to us. And because He loves us, He wants us to not only know Him, but He wants us to know how to live and to love others. So as we read through the Bible this year, we're going to be constantly looking back to this section for the foundational truths as they're carried throughout all of Scripture. In this passage today, it speaks about creation. It says that God spoke creation into existence. (laughs) That says a lot about who God is and what God can do. It also speaks about life. It says that we have been made in His image. That means that God puts a very high value on life, and so should we. He wrote a plan down for Adam in the garden and gave him a a work to do, a woman to love, and a will to obey. We are still executing that plan today. It speaks about relationships. It says that it's not good for us to be alone, that we have been created to live in harmony with each other, that we should love each other the way God loves us. And these passages are foundational. As a matter of fact, my wife and I teach a lot on marriage, and we always go back to these verses because it's so important when we're talking about the most important relationship in our life, marriage, that we go back to the source, the core. And marriage was God's idea. It was a gift to men and women. So you can see how your view on these issues can shape your life and and shape the way you see Scripture. Um, And so as you read your Bible this year, I want to encourage you to look at Scripture from God's perspective and learn to love the way He loves you. That's my prayer for you, is that He would reveal Himself in fresh and new ways as you read through God's Word week by week this year. I hope you have a great week. If we can help you in any way, please don't hesitate to ask.